My homemade cherry wine is finally complete. I made this by letting cherries, honey, and water ferment for a month. It tastes like a dry red wine with a very subtle cherry flavor, and it actually got up to 18% alcohol. This was a bit of an experiment because I wanted to finish this batch quickly, so I tested out adding clearing agents to help it clear up faster. I've also never used cherries before, so from start to finish, this took two months, which is much faster than normal. So now here I'm transferring it to bottles, and as you can see, I'm using a siphon. This takes a little bit of practice, and it can be messy, but once you get the hang of it, it's really not that bad. And since I recycle my bottles, sometimes I gotta mix and match. But that adds character. And here's what's left. It's tough to get every last drop without disturbing the sediment at the bottom, but that's good enough. Now I'm using a hand corker to seal these bottles with corks. I will say a floor corker is much easier to use, but a lot of you want to see me use a hand corker, so I pulled it out for this batch. I've noticed that hand corking can sometimes leave indents and not push the corks in all the way, but for the most part it works just fine. Lastly, I'm updating my labels with the flavor and alcohol content and then printing them out to put on my bottles. This is such a satisfying way to finish a batch. I'm really satisfied with how this batch turned out, and I think next time I'll try for a lower alcohol version with more sweetness to compare. But let me know what you want to see me make next. Thank you.